That's it, little red tractor. Nice Stan! work. Stan! Stan! Ryan and Amy, what are you two doing here? Stan, you know the Babble Brook Fair? I should say so. Tomorrow, isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. So are we, and we've had an idea. Have you? You know how there's a procession every year with fancy dress and stuff? Yes. We think Little Red Tractor should enter. We could dress him up. Dress him up as a dragon. A dragon, eh? What do you think, Little Red Tractor? <laughs> Sounds like he reckons it's a good idea. Yay! He's, He's going, going to be, to be a, dragon. a dragon. He's, He's going, going to be a dragon. be a dragon. But not until we've finished our work. <laughs> there. Now, if that don't win first prize in the procession, I don't know what... Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, Elsie, oh, nearly gave me the fright of my life. I could say the same thing. What's that? <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> I reckon as how me and Nipper are going to win first prize at the fair. That's Nipper. Ah, and I'm going to take him down to show Stan. Stumpy, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, how can you see where you're going? Well, I've got a nice view through the eye holes. See you later, Elsie! Oh, why do I get the feeling this is going to end in tears? Right, that's the ploughing all done. Now, let's get started on our dragon. Yeah! We'll need some wood and some cardboard, string and sticky tape. You're going to be the scariest dragon that ever was. Rotten, useless lump of... I'm getting tired of this. Right. Oh. That's no good. Ryan and Amy not with you, Mrs Turvey? Not today, Nicola, no. They're up at stands. They're turning Little Red Tractor into a dragon for the Babblebrook procession. A dragon? Oh, my word. A dragon? What's this all about? A dra... Oh, not again. And I really thought I'd got it going this time. Oh, dear. Trouble? No, it's just Dad's old car. He's been trying to get it going again, with the usual results. Now, it was charcoal you were after, wasn't it? One bag or two? <laughs> That's coming along nicely. It's going to look great when it's all painted. Hope so. Hello. Sounds like Nipper. Oh, help! Oh, for the lights out! Uh -oh. I can't Sounds see! Sounds like trouble. Oh. oh, what happened? Looks like you crashed into a clown, Stumpy. Oh, bother. <laughs> Took me ages to make that. I was going to win first prize in the procession with my clown's head. You could make another one. No, it'd take too long. Fair's tomorrow, and I got to mill some corn for Mr Jones later on. You painted it really well, too. Why don't you help us, Dumpy? Go on. We're making Little Red Tractor into a dragon for the procession. Oh, are you now? We could do with a good painter. Oh, I'd be glad to help. Well, come on, then. Let's get back to work. Well, you're really going to look the business, little red tractor. <laughs> Just as soon as I get your costume painted. There. Not bad, though I say so myself. Ah, but it's not quite finished yet. It looks finished to me, Stan. Not until it's got its roar, it isn't. I used to fix these to my bike wheels when I was a nipper. Oh, my goodness, is that the time? Oh, I'd better be off. I got Mr Jones coming round with his corn in a couple of minutes. Oh, i nearly forgotten all the excitement. Um, see you, Stan. Bye, kids. Bye, Bye Stumpy. Stumpy. Look out, Stumpy. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, Mr Jones. All filled up. Thanks, Nicola. Just got to get this corn to Stumpy and then feet up in the garden. Looking forward to the village fair, Mr Jones? Village fair? Dear me, no. Not a fuss about nothing. One tacky hoopla boo, the bring and buy stall and a speech from the mayor. No, not my idea of an exciting day out at all. Well, I reckon it's going to be quite exciting this year. I heard Mrs Turvey saying there was going to be a dragon there. <laughs> a dragon. 
<laughs> yes, a dragon. See, Mrs. Turvey told me that... Mrs. Turvey told you, did she? Well, that's the trouble with you country folk. Too easily taken in by stories like that. Not a real dragon, you great... Language, Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Elsie. Stumpy here is him. Not just at the moment, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. He knows about your corn. I don't know. You country folk. We country folk what? The stories you tell. Just a few minutes ago, Walter and Nicola were spinning some cock and bull story about a dragon. A dragon, if you please, when everyone knows there's no such thing as a dragon. They are the stuff of folklore and fairy tales. <clears throat> well, round these parts, we don't take talk of dragons so lightly. Why, my old dad caught a dragon once. Big green and it were. Absolute tosh. Tosh piffle and balderdash. <laughs> if you say so, Mr Jones. I do. Stumpy, what happened to your clown's head? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that. <laughs> Bit of an accident. Clown's head. Dragons. Dear, dear me. I don't think I'll ever get the hang of country living. I'll be back in a couple of days to fetch the flower, Stumpy. Eh? Mm. Yes, and thank you too. Stumpy, what was that nonsense about your dad catching a dragon? Well, it wasn't nonsense. He did catch one. <laughs> a dragon fly. <laughs> oh, Stumpy. There. You're all dragoned up, little red tractor. And now it's time I got you two home. But perhaps we ought to make sure that our dragon roars first, eh? Oh, yes. Yes, please, Dan. There we go, Amy. Now you, Ryan. Hey! Now that's what I call a roar. Ah, now this is the part of the country life I do enjoy. Last rays of sun in the evening, the smell of the... the... Hello. What's that? Don't tell me Stan's let his bull out of the field again. What on earth can it... No, no, it can't be. It is. It's a... It's a dra dragon! Ah, help! It's a dragon! A dragon! Please, no. I don't want to end up as a dragon's dinner. Mr. Jones? Stan, has it gone? Has what gone? The dragon I saw it big and fierce and it was going to eat me up. <laughs> oh, Mr. Jones. <laughs> What's so funny? There's no dragon, Mr. Jones. It's Little Red Tractor. <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, uh, it's, it's my little joke. I, 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 I knew it was Little Red Tractor. <laughs> There's no such thing as dragons, eh? <laughs> you may be small, little red tractor, but you're a champion dragon. Yeah, good morning. Brought some things for the sale, I see. Yes, although you seem to have a lot here already. You never can have too much, Dan. In fact, Stumpy has a few old board games he said I could have, and the Turvey family offered a few bits and bobs, too. Uh, no, I think. Well, that's good, isn't it? But they need picking up, you see, and I, uh, well, <laughs> as you can see, I'm up to my eyes. OK, I'll do it now. Stan, you are a marvel. Thank you so much. I'm getting tired of this. Every time I think you're fixed, you break down again. So I'm going to ask you one more time. 
Please work. Everything all right, Walter? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. I thought maybe you'd broken down again. No, 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 no. no I'm a mechanic, Stan. Simple thing like a car couldn't fox me, eh? <laughs> no, I was... I was just checking the wheels, you see. Uh, three and four. <laughs> well, yeah, four. Spot on. Hmm? Well, I'll leave you to it. See you later. <laughs> right. You have one last chance. Oh, thanks, Stan. <laughs> Save me a trip. No problem. Mr Jones is certainly going to town with his garage sale. You've never seen so much stuff. Oh, you know him. He never does anything by halves. <laughs> right, one more stop at Rose Cottage and then I might have a look round the sale myself. See ya. Bye, Stan! Why don't we have one more go to get you started? Hmm? For me? Still here, Walter? Uh, so, no, I'm just, I'm just counting the headlights, you see. One and uh, two. Well, there you go. Phew. <sighs> just as I expected. Are you sure you're all right, Walter? I'm enjoying the country air stand, that's all. <laughs> right, that does it. I've had enough of this stupid car. I'm going to call Nicola and we'll tow this old wreck straight to the scrapyard where it obviously belongs. Well, just a minute. Mr Jones is having a garage sale. Why not tow it there? Someone may have use for it. You know, that's a good idea. Well, I have another pickup to do, so I'll see you there. See you later. Hi there, Amy. Is he for the garage sale? Yep. And I have two more. Hello, Ryan. Don't tell me Ted is going to the sale too. Yes, he is. You're far too old for a teddy bear, Ryan. He's not a teddy bear. He's an action bear. I don't have to take the bear, you know, Ryan. <sighs> no, it's OK. I am a bit too old for a stuffed bear. I'll make sure he goes to a good home. Right, time I was off. Maybe I'll see you at the sale later on. Bye, Stan. Bye, Bear. Uh, you can't leave that there. I'm having a garage sale. Exactly. Now you have a real bargain. I've decided to sell my car. Could fetch a pretty penny, so you want to put it where it could be clearly seen. Well... I do have space right at the back there, over by the silo. We'll never get sparky for all that stuff. Tell you what, we'll leave it right here at the front. You'll see, people will be flocking in. They love a bargain. But, I... no, 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 save your thanks. I'm sure you'll be able to do me a similar favour one day. Right, Dad, it's all yours. I've got to get back to work. No worries. Thanks, Nicola. But no one is going to buy this. It's junk. Not junk. Just a beautiful old car that needs a little tender care. And a new door. Nice colour, though. Hello. Everyone happy? I'll be happy when I see the back of that thing. What price should I ask for it, Stan? You want money for it? <laughs> Let me drop off this lot and I'll help you paint a sign. Where do you want it? Gnomes with garden accessories, board games on the table back there, and uh, what else? Oh, what a cute teddy bear. <laughs> Look. Oh, that reminds me of when I... Ah, well, anyway, um, teddy bears with toys, please, Stan. OK, I'll leave the trailer in your barn, if that's all right. May want to buy a few things myself, and I can load up later. The least I can do. Maybe 200? 50 then? Decided on a price yet? I was thinking 50, Stan. It, it's got to be one of the 50. Or 20? You may be right there. 20. <laughs> and I'll throw in a fluffy dice. Yeah. <laughs> a bargain in any language. Right, let's paint up a sign. Ah, oh, there you are. Hi, Amy. What's the matter? You've been miserable ever since Stan left. Oh, nothing. It's your bear, isn't it? 
You didn't have to give him to the sale if you didn't want to. I know, but he's gone now, so that's it. No, it isn't. We can go and get him back. Come on, let's get Mum. Yeah, let's go and get him. A work of art. Well, let's hope it does the trick. Better leave it for a while to dry. Don't leave that there. I don't want anyone thinking my beautiful house is for sale. Good point. I'll find somewhere in the sun where it can dry. Oh, I nearly forgot. There is something I need to do. See you later. Hang on, Stan. I'll come with you. Oh, hi there. What a delightful sale and so many bargains. I can't believe that lovely thing out there is so cheap. I'll take it. <laughs> you think so? Oh, my. Walter will be pleased. Utterly adorable. It takes all kinds, Stumpy. I can't believe anyone would call Walter's old wreck adorable. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Excuse me, but what do you think you're doing? I just pulled this tractor, but it's, it's g -g -g gone cr crazy. Bought my tractor? <laughs> Little red tractor is not for sale. Oh, wait a minute. Calm down, little red tractor. There has been a mistake, I'm afraid. Here, great news, Stan. Someone has bought my car. You put the for sale sign on little red tractor. Well, yeah, only while I was waiting for it to dry. Well, this poor chap thought he was buying little red tractor. Oh, oh, I'm all of a dither. Well, look on the bright side. You got this lovely bargain. Looking for anything in particular? A teddy bear. An action bear, actually. We donated it to the sale by mistake. I was hoping we could get him back. Oh, no bear, I'm afraid. Oh, we must have sold it. Maybe we can find another one. You can't replace action bear. Well, is there anything else you'd like to do? No, thanks. I think I'll go home. I don't care how much character it has, I bought the tractor. <laughs> well, it's got fluffy dice. Oh. Oh, now they are nice. Oh, yes, I do like these. Now, forget the car and the tractor. I'll buy them. Ah, Ryan, just the chap. I bought you a little present. I was thinking that he looked a bit lonely, so I bought him back for you. Oh, thanks, Stan! I could throw the car in with the fluffy dice, you know. <laughs> no, thank you. How about you, Stan? Looking for a bargain? I have my bargain, thank you, Walter. And he didn't cost me a penny. <laughs> That's you all clean, little red tractor. I think it's starting to clear up, finally. Now we can go and feed the pigs. They will love the new food I've got for them. Almost as much as they like the rain and the mud. Whoa. Hey? Oh, rats. Something has eaten all the pig food. We'd better get down to the market and pick up some more. Oh, I forgot. It's a Sunday. The market will be closed. Hmm. Let's go and check on them anyway. And then we can go and see if one of our neighbours has got anything for the pigs to eat. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Faster, Big Blue. Must press on. <laughs> oh, no. You oh, don't look so grumpy. It wasn't my fault. How was I to know the road was so slippery? Oh, all right. Maybe I was going a little too fast, but... Pigs. <laughs> mm, the fence! They're getting away! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> oh, drat! Looks like it's clearing up, Nicola. About time. Well, once the rain stops, I'll get up and fix the roof. About time. Oh, you know I was going to get round to patching it up. Uh-huh. I was. It may be too late, Dad. These cakes and sandwiches are ruined. 
I'm going outside to get out of this rain. Well, it's not that bad. Well, look, we could dry the bread out. It's, uh, um, uh, I'll go and fetch the ladder. <sighs> ah, stare. Hello, Mr. Jones. Trouble? Uh, well, yes. Big Blue is stuck in the mud. Um, but it wasn't my fault. No, 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 no. Not me. It was this rotten weather. And, um, I, I may have been going a teeny weeny here, a bit too fast, but oh, you... Oh, no, my fans! Ah, sorry about that. But I will fix that up for you. By the time we get finished, it will be... Where are our pigs? Well, they were playing in the mud, then they ran off. Um, sorry. I did try and stop them, really, I did. We'd better get after them. But Stan, Big Blue... OK, I'm sure the pigs won't get far. Don't worry, we'll have Big Blue out of there in no time. Oh, well, I thought that perhaps you would go and get Nicola and Sparky to tow him out for me. I think it may be too big a job for your tiny tractor. He... Little Red Tractor is stronger than he looks. Oh, pigs! Oh, wow! Oh, oh. oh, that was close. Even for me. Oh, I'm all covered in mud. Oh, well. Now, what were Stan's pigs doing out here? Oh, and where did they go? Right. Are you sure about this, Stan? Big Blue is very, very heavy. It will be no problem. Right, Little Red Tractor. We'll have to be really careful here. OK, ready? Come on, Little Red Tractor. You can do it. Hmm, just as I thought. Not strong enough. Ooh. Well done, Little Red Tractor. Marvellous. I knew you could do it. You know, he really is quite strong for a little tractor. We should get after our pigs. Thanks, Dan. And look, I may as well fix up your fence for you. It's the least I can do. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Let's go. What's that? Hey, get out of there! <laughs> oh, what's all the noise about? Oh, Dad! What happened? Hey! What happened? Pigs! There were two pigs! Oh, and they pushed you off, did they? Nah! I slipped trying to scare them away! They were eating our soggy buns! They're welcome to them. They're no use to us. <laughs> well, I see your new safety harness works. Oh, yeah, like a dream! Although, um... It does nip a bit. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy! You all right? You're all covered in mud. Pigs! Your pigs were in the middle of the road, Stan. I had to swerve to avoid them. I'm sorry, Stumpy. They escaped. Oh, <laughs> no harm done. Where were they? Right here. Stood in the mud. Happy as anything. They do love the mud. I was trying to see where they went. Mm. Not this way. They may have gone off towards Beach Garage. We'll try there. Cheers, Stumpy. Cheerio! Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, girl. Hi, Stan. Hi, little red tractor. Hello. What are you two up to? Well, to cut a long story short, leaking roof, soggy buns. Oh dear. Uh, what are you going to do with the um, with the slop? I'm chucking it out. Could I have it? Of course. It's for my pigs if I ever find them. Dad saw some pigs earlier. Pigs. I saw some pigs earlier, little pink porkers with black spots. They sound like mine. Where did they go? Not sure. I was dangling upside down at the time. Hold on. Oh, I can see them. They're down at Marshy Wood. Oh, and Stan, you may want to hurry. Looks like they're in trouble. Right, let's go. Go on, my son. <laughs> 
Just as I said. <laughs> Works like a dream. Oh, Dad. Uh, any chance you could get me down? I'll get Sparky. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. The water is quite deep. In fact, it's almost as deep as your trailer. Hmm. I wonder if... Yes, I've got a plan, little red tractor, but it's going to need all your strength. I hope this works. Steady does it. This may just work. Almost there, little red tractor. Whoa! Come on, lads. Come on! That's it, fellas. Now, pull, little red tractor. You can do it. That a boy. Just a little further. Brilliant. Well done, little red tractor. Got you. <laughs> the length you two will go to for a bit of mud. That's it! Mud! I reckon Riverside Field is too clean and grassy for them, and all this mud has given me an idea. What are they up to? Wahey! <laughs> Great job, little red tractor. Looks like we've got two very happy pigs here, thanks to you. Now, I think there is still one job left to do. I think we need to give you another wash and a polish. Ooh, right, that's all the seed we'll need. So, let's get planting. Yeah! Just think, every little seed is going to grow into a tall stalk of wheat. Well, not every seed. The birds are quite keen on them for their breakfast. But the scarecrow will scare them away, won't it? That? Uh, I don't think so. Mm, you might be right. I don't think that scarecrow could frighten a panicky sparrow. Mind you, I did make Sam there more than five years ago. Poor old thing. All the straws coming out of your head. And your arm's broken. Hey! Why don't we make a new one? Yeah, and we could get Mum to help. She's really good at making things. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Last year, the birds must have eaten about half my seed. Come on, let's get finished here and then go and get your mum. That's it. Plenty of straw to make a nice, fat scarecrow. Mum? That papier-mâché head of his, won't it go all soggy when it rains? Not when I painted it and given it a couple of coats of varnish. There. All full up. He's going to need something to wear. I'll nip back to the farm and see what I've got for him. See you later. Stan! Stan! Wait till you see what Mum's done. It's brilliant! There. What do you think, Stan? My word. It's very lifelike, isn't it? <laughs> Funny. It reminds me of someone... Um... <laughs> it's you, Stan. <laughs> it looks just like you. I hope you don't mind, Stan. Mind? It's brilliant. Time to get him dressed, I reckon. Stan? Stan! Oh, I need a spot of help sowing my fields and I was wondering... Stan! Mother, just Stan not to be here when I need him. Most inconsiderate. Hm. Just have to go and see if Stump is in a more helpful frame of mind. Well, little red tractor, what do you make of my twin brother? Right, you two. Dad will be back from his run soon and he'll be wanting his lunch. Perhaps you'd like to come too, Stan. That'd be great. We can leave our scarecrow to guard the field. Well, that's what he's for, after all. 
Hang on, Bob. Are we going to go in Little Attractor's trailer? You can if you like. Bit dusty for me. We'll all walk. It's not far. See you in a bit, Little Red Tractor. Keep them peeled, Scarecrow. Hello there, Stan. Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Oh, a lovely day for it. Running, I mean, and anything else for that matter. Something you could do for me, Stan. <sighs> Mrs is expecting me back for lunch. I know the kids are coming to give you a hand. <laughs> well, that's what they said. So when you take her back, let Laura know I won't be around for it. <laughs> lunch. <laughs> Still got a few more miles to put in. Thanks. Right. No, sorry, Stan. Can't stay to chew the fat. <laughs> Must run. <laughs> Ah, Stan, there you are. I was wondering if you might help me sow some seed. Quite a big field, as you know, so, um, would that be in order? Uh, help, that is. You helping me. Would that be in order? Stan! Well, if you won't help me, I'll find someone who will. Hello. What's Mr. Jones doing here? Hmm, wonder if he was looking for me. Better go and find out. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. Stumpy's out on that nipper of his at the moment. Well, really, of all the inconsiderate... Stumpy wasn't to know that you were going to call. Hello there, Elsie. Hello, Mr. Jones. I saw you back there near Top Acre. And... Ah, talking to me now, are you? Well, I'm not talking to you. Where I come from, ignoring people is considered to be extremely bad manners. Eh? Hey? Hello, all. Just a little further to go and then a quick sprint home. She'll be back in time for supper. I think Mrs Turvey was expecting you back for lunch. She was wondering where you'd gone. You mean you didn't give her the message? Uh, what message? You mean you didn't tell her? Mm, crumbs. Mrs T isn't going to be pleased with me. Not pleased at all. Better get on and make me peace. Not like you to forget something important like that, Stan. Not like you at all. You're acting very strangely today, Stan. Very strangely indeed. Me? Hello there, Stan. Lovely weather. Wow! <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road, eh, Stumpy? And I don't mind telling you, Stan, that you've gone down in my estimation. Good day to you. Listen. But, but, but what'd I do? Search me, Stan. Hi, Stan! Stan! How did you get here? Oh, dear. Not again. Stumpy? Well, I don't know how you did it, Stan, but I've got to hand it to you. It was a clever trick. Trick? What? How do you mean? I saw you back there in Top Acre not more than a couple of minutes ago. No sign of Little Red Tractor. So... How'd you both get here so fast? We didn't. I... I... <laughs> uh, Stumpy? Uh, yes, Stan? What was I doing when you saw me in the field? Well, not a lot. Just standing there. <laughs> oh, Stumpy! That was a scarecrow! A, sc a scarecrow? But it, it looked just like you! Hey, I wonder if Mr Turvey asked my scarecrow to pass on the message about lunch. And... Oh, no. That'll be why Mr Jones thought I was ignoring him. Oh, dear. I'd better go and find him to explain before he explodes. Yes, he did seem pretty cross. Bye, Stumpy. See you later, Elsie. Yeah. But how did he get back here so quick? What the... Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? Are you all right? <sighs> well, just about. No thanks to you. Stan, what is going on? Why are you playing these foolish games? I'm not, Mr. Jones. I think you might have been fooled by my new scarecrow. But, 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 I, but, 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 a scarecrow? <laughs> It, uh, mm -hmm. it seems I might just have made a small mistake. One small mistake, and quite a big one. Big Blue's going to take some rescuing from that ditch. Still, I reckon Little Red Tractor's up to it. OK, Little Red Tractor, let's go! 
steady scam. Come on. Heave. That's it, little red tractor. Another big heave. Scam! That rope, it's... It's a... <sighs> no harm done. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, little red tractor. Oh, I'll be doing me a big favour if you just come along with me and tell Laura about how you forgot to give her the message. <laughs> I did the same thing last week. Went on one of my runs, forgot about lunch, Mrs T, none too happy. So if I... Don't worry. <laughs> I'll explain. Stan? Uh, but... What I... Stan? I think you must have asked my new scarecrow to take the message. <laughs> oh, I imagine that. Scarecrow. Well, well. Uh, see you, Stan. Mr. Uh... Well, it's a little too late for any help with seed sowing today, Stan. But perhaps you could help me tomorrow. Be glad to, Mr. Jones, wouldn't we? And perhaps we could ask Mrs. Turvey to make you a scarecrow as well. Um, yeah, I don't think so, Stan. That scarecrow of yours has caused quite enough trouble for one day. <laughs> there. All we need now is Ryan and Amy. And for you to keep your nose out of our picnic hamper patch. Hi, Stan. We're here. Are you ready? Well, let's see. I've got sandwiches, pop, Ryan, Amy, Stan. And Little Red Tractor. Yep, I reckon we're all ready for our picnic. Ah, Stan, there you are. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Stan. I've come to ask you a favor, Stan. See, I've been digging a drainage ditch in one of my fields. It's really hard work, isn't it, Uncle Jasper? I'll say, I don't know. Yes, that is no. No, not at all. Piece of cake. Only, but um, you said... only I've been called away on business and I was wondering if I could finish the ditch off for you. Thank you, Stan. I knew I could rely on you. Thing is, we were going on a picnic. Well, you can have your picnic in my field. Maybe you could take Thomas with you. A picnic? Yeah. Well, that settles it. See you later. Um... <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Do you want some of these sandwiches? Phew, yeah. This digging builds up quite an appetite. Thanks, Amy. Maybe we could give you a hand. I don't know. It's very hard work. I'm pretty strong. Me too. We can do it. Right, then. Hang on. I think I found something. It looks like a coin. And there's more down here. Look! Wow! You know what, Ryan? I think these might be Roman coins. Roman? I don't wow. believe it. Treasure. <laughs> Hello, oh. Mr. Jones. We finished your ditch. What? Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, yes, sir. Uncle Jasper, <clears throat> we were digging your ditch. And Ryan found some coins. They look really Stan old. Stan says they might be Roman. Yes, yes, yes. So I did, did, did. Quiet! Um, <clears throat> Roman coins on my land? Hmm, these might be worth something. And I might even get my picture in the papers again. Well done, Ryan. Thank you very much for these. They're not for you. We found them. What? I mean, what? But, um, you t mm. I think the best thing would be to take them to the Babble Brook Museum. Have them take a look at the coins and see what they can make of them. Bye, Mr. Jones. Bye, Thomas. See you later. I should have dug that ditch myself. Perhaps there's more. That's it, Thomas, yes. And if we find more coins, I can keep them. All we need is a metal detector. <laughs> wow! Powerful! <laughs> Stumpy, are you all right? Oh, never better, Stan. Never better. <laughs> With are you now? Well, well, well. And who's that then? I found some Roman coins. We took them to the museum, and the man there said they were. Uh, were what? Roman. And he's going to put them on display in the museum. They're going to be called the Turvey Collection. After us. Well, now, isn't that something? <laughs> Roman coins, eh? Can't wait to tell Mum and Dad. Hmm. Maybe it's about time we were getting back. Roman coins. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Stumpy, be careful! Wow! <laughs> <laughs>
Stampy? Where is it? I'm sure that... Nope. Hang on it! No. Not there. Oh, where is it? Ah. Ah. Stampy? <laughs> I knew I'd seen it! Seen what? This! Yes, but what? See you later! Oh, I don't know. We found them just there, Uncle Jasper. There must be some more coins around here somewhere. Come to Daddy. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah! Oh, oh, Stumpy! Nearly scared the life out of me. What on earth possessed you to jump out at me like that? Yeah, sorry, Mr. Jones. In a bit of a hurry. See, I bumped into stand, well, a wall, actually, and he told me he'd found some Roman coins. And I remembered I'd got an old map of me dad's. It marks the spot of a Roman fort. Of course, boundary lines have changed a bit since his day, but I reckon it's somewhere around here. Perhaps I could have a look. Uh, there, see? Hang on, stuff. Uh, in a bit of a rush, I, I want to show it a stand. Hmm. Well, if Stumpy's map's right, the fort should be somewhere over there. And when I find it, <laughs> I'll be on the front page of the Babblebrook Gazette. We, oui, Uncle Jasper, I'm helping, remember? Yes, yes, of course. Hello? Oh, stupid thing! Hello? No, no, not you, my dear. <laughs> Is that the Babblebrook Gazette? Well, like I say, Stan, the boundaries have changed a bit since my old dad was a lad. But here's Tony Owl Wood. And I reckon that must be the Roman fort. So it looks as if the fort might be in Top Acre. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and have a look. Hello! Sounds like I found... Ah! A horseshoe! Ow! Oh! Oh, you should be more careful. Ah, like... this time, yes, I'm sure I found. Ah Sorry I didn't see you there. Ah, you're the chap from the Babelbrook Gazette. Have I got a story for you? You arrived at just the right moment. Think I found something big. Aha. I appear to have detected your stuff. <clears throat> yes. Now, Mr. Jones, you say you've unearthed a Roman fort. Well, almost. Oh, hot work, this, Stan. <laughs> Are you sure we're looking in the right place? According to your dad's map, Stumpy, it ought to be somewhere around... Aha! Look at this. It's a brick. Great. A brick. But nothing's been built around here for ages. And look, here's another. I reckon this is part of a wall, Stumpy. And it looks as if it carries on along under there. Under that tree, Stump? <laughs> well, that's that. We'll never shift it. I think Little Red Tractor has other ideas. You haven't found a fort at all, have you, Mr Jones? Well, not yet, but I'm sure it's round here somewhere. We saw it on the map, didn't we, Thomas? I suppose so. <sighs> Come on, Little Red Tractor. You can do it. Oh. Nothing doing, Stan! Come on, one more try. It's moving! Go on, Little Red Tractor. Keep it going! Great stuff, Little Red Tractor. I knew you could Stan, do it. Stan! Come and take a look at this! Right, Mr Jones, I've got things to do. I said... Mr Jones, I... Mr Jones! I found something! I definitely found something, and this time it's big! Yes, but... Oh! Wow! Looks like we found the Roman fort, all right. Oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. Just wait till the people at the Babblebrook Museum see this. Hello. Can you hear that? Yes. Sounds like a badger. With a paper. Ow! Almost got... Ah! Yet it's... Oh, what is it? Drop it! Ah! 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 I, uh... I seem to have detected Little Red Tractor. And we found the fort. Call yourself a metal detector. Why couldn't you have worked faster? Over here, please. Can I have a picture of the treasure seekers? 
historic find by local man and his tractor. Pretty good stuff, eh? We're all famous! Thanks to a bit of help from Little Red Tractor. You really are the best. <laughs> Look at this. The birds have been at my crop again. We're going to have to do something, Little Red Tractor, otherwise I'm going to have nothing left. <laughs> I need something that I can leave here in the field that will keep the birds away. Got it. Come on, back to Gosling Farm. Ah, hello, Stan. Nice morning. Well, it was a nice morning, Stumpy, until I found that the birds have been at my crops. Oh, dear, yes. I saw them from the windmill the other day. Stumpy, could I ask a favour? I don't suppose you have a few old clothes lying about, do you? Just a few things I could have. <laughs> All my clothes are old, Stan. <laughs> I don't think they'll fit you, though. <laughs> They're not for me. Could you drop them off at the farm when you have time? I'm going to build a scarecrow. Oh, charming. Still, Elsie will be pleased to see the back of them. Thanks. See you later. What was that? Oh, look. Clean overalls, too. What was that? Made me fall off my ladder. I've no idea. What was that? <laughs> right, time to start work on my little scarecrow. What was that noise? Patch? Patch? You all right, lad? Whatever that noise was, it must have frightened all of the animals in the area. Come on. Let's go and investigate. See you later, Patch. <laughs> ah, Walter, there you are. Ah, Stan, the very man. Have, Have you, you heard, heard the... Oh, after you. Have you heard these strange bangs this morning? Cool. Heard them? I fell off my ladder the first time I heard them, and poor Nicola spilled oil all over her overalls. One more go. There. That should do it. Ow! You mean those bangs? Yeah. I wonder where they're coming from. I don't know, but I wish they'd stop. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll go and see Mr Jones. Maybe he can shed some light on this mystery. Look at you! What have you been doing? Bags! Big ones too! Threw me right off me bike! You look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. <laughs> oh, oh. Those bangs are getting on my nerves. Nice cake, though. What a surprise. How's this old tractor getting along, then? He may be old, Mr Jones, but he's fully restored now and running like a dream. One of these days, Stan, you should think about getting yourself a state-of-the-art tractor, like Big Blue here, twice as big, twice as strong. <laughs> Actually, I didn't come here to discuss tractors. I was wondering if you knew anything about these big bangs that have been going off all morning. Ah, yes, that. My latest gizmo. Come on, I'll show you. It's a gas-driven bird scarer. Hmm? Let's off a loud bang every now and then and keeps the birds away from my core. <laughs> Fantastic it is too, I can tell you. <laughs> well, it's not just the birds you've been scaring. Half the neighbourhood has been scared by it. We have to keep up with technology, Stan. They'll get used to it in no time. Can't run a farm without making a little noise now and then. <laughs> well, I was thinking of making a scarecrow. 
They're a lot quieter, you know. Technology, Stan. You mark my words. It's all about technology. In fact, I just bought a new motivator. No. Oh, you poor dear. I'm going to find out what's making those bangs if it... Oh! oh! If it's the last thing I do. Elsie, where'd my hat go? <laughs> What are we going to do for clothes, Stan? This scarecrow is going to need clothes. And a hat. <laughs> well, hopefully I've already sorted that. Stumpy said he would bring along some old clothes. He can wear those. Great! One of Stumpy's old hats is just what this scarecrow needs. Ah, I bet that's him now. <laughs> oh, dear. I'd better go and see what happened. Stumpy? Oh, whatever is that infernal racket? It's Mr Jones. He has a new gas-fired bird scarer. <laughs> well, it's more than the birds he's scaring, I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> we really should do something. Yes. Do you know, Stumpy? I might have an idea. A gas-fired bird scarer? I've never heard the like. Oh, that explains it. He's just phoned up to order another load of these. Great, because I've had an idea that may lead to a little peace and quiet around here, but I'm going to need your help. Anything if it means an end to these big bangs. Count me in, Stan. What's the plan? What if the next gas bottles Mr Jones buys were empty? Then the bird scarer wouldn't work, and I may be able to persuade him to use a quieter method, something more neighbourly. <laughs> I like it, Stan. I like it. We could make sure we knock the empties off his bill so it wouldn't cost him anything. So no harm done, really. Done. done. It looks really good. Yeah, and look, no birds. We've done a good job there. Hey, and no big bangs either. Everything appears to be back to normal. <laughs> Mr Jones. Uh-oh. Do you think he knows? What are you going to tell him? Ah, I hadn't thought about that yet. I see you have your scarecrow finished. He's working too. Look, no birds. I, on the other hand, have a field full of them. I happen to notice a distinct lack of bangs this morning. Ah, uh, yes. You see, now, I... what could have caused that? Well, the thing is... I I... check the pipes, I check the control box, nothing wrong there. So I call the repairman and you'll never guess what he finds. Uh, empty gas bottles? Correct. <laughs> empty gas bottles. So I call Nicola at the garage and she tells me the whole story. Well, you have to admit, your bird scarer was making an awful lot of noise. Yeah, you've made your point. And maybe it was a bit much. So, <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> perhaps these scarecrow experts of yours might uh, make another... You bet! We'll have to get Stumpy to give us some more of his clothes. Well, that's very kind of you to ask. The old-fashioned scarecrow seems to be working. Uh, fair enough. But if the birds come back, then the bangs come back. OK, back to work, everyone. Come on, little red tractor. Back to Gosling Farm. Morning, you lot! It seems a lot quieter this morning. Yes, I think everything has turned out pretty well. Oh, here! That old scarecrow looks like me! Anyhow, now at least I get to ride old Nipper here without those bangs going off all the time. <laughs> Take care now. Oh, no! Not again! <laughs> Little red tractor. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Little red tractor. Let those cows know we're here. Morning, Daisy. Morning, Veronica. Here we go. Right, little red tractor. Next stop, Walter's garage for one of Nicola's sandwiches. The cows aren't the only hungry ones round here. I 
Nice man. Diesel? No, thanks, Nicola. It's me that needs filling up. Can I have one of your cheese and pickle sandwiches? Coming right up, Stan. <laughs> Sounds like Walter's fixing up his old banger again. Rotten, useless lump of... Hi, Walter. Spot of bother with the motor? Ah, oh, yeah, I Stan. Yeah, uh, just a bit. See, every time I start her up, there's a great big bang. I can't understand it. Here, look, watch. Funny. It's never made that noise before. I don't think it was your car, Walter. It sounded more like Big Blue. Stop! Anyone at home? God! What the dickens was that? Rotten thing? But I'll get it fixed. You see if I don't. I wish you would, Walter. But first, I've got a little job for you. Now see this dent here? Well, yeah, just, uh... Uh, what then? I'd like you to mend it for me. Soon as. Got to have Big Blue looking absolutely tickety boo for this evening, hmm? All right, I'll ask. Why is that, Mr. Jones? Something special on? No, oh, no, 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 not really. <laughs> Just some people from High Magazine coming to do a feature on me and my farm. High Magazine? Amazing! They have all the top celebrities in it. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Only last week they ran a special feature on, but Mr. Jones. Yes? That Stan sandwich. What? Uh, oh, well, I mean, I was only borrowing it. Well, it's not usually a good idea to borrow things without asking first. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, go on. You have it. And I'll get you another one, Stan. Ah! I think I see it. Yeah. There. That's the last. Thanks a lot, Stan. Great help. Here we are, Stan. Nice slice of cake after all your hard work. Well, thanks, Elsie, but I don't think I could. I've just polished off a sandwich. Of course you could, Stan. Strapping fellow like you needs to keep his strength up. Well... Thanks. You hear about Mr. Jones? No, what? High Magazine's doing a feature on him. <laughs> you what? That's right. They're coming to take photos of him and his farm. Since when has Mr. Jones been a celebrity? Oh, it's not like the old days, you know, when celebrities were celebrities. Do you remember those great old black and white film stars, Stan? A bit before my time. I just hope Mr. Jones doesn't get all big-headed, that's all. Well, thanks for the cake, Elsie. Time I was off. See you later. Bye, Stan. Oh, hello, Amy. Ryan? We helped Mum bake some scones, Stan. And we've brought some for you to try. Maybe a bit later, eh? When I'm a bit hungrier. Oh. Mind you, I think I know someone who will be hungry. Do you fancy coming with me to feed the cows? Oh, yes, please, Stan. But I thought cows ate grass. So they do, Ryan. But when it gets near winter time, they need a little something extra. Jump in the trailer, I'll get the feed. You watch this. As soon as the cows hear Little Red Tractor, they'll come running for their feed. That's funny. They usually hear straight away. Steady on, Little Red Tractor. Oh, no. The gate's open. They must have escaped. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Let's find those cows. Still no sign of them. <laughs> Stumpy, are you all right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, anyone seen my aunt? Have you seen Stan's cows? Stan's cows? 
They've gone missing. Well, I, I'd give you a hand looking for them, Stan, but I need to find my hat first. <laughs> what? What is it? Ho, 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 you little tinkers. <laughs> right, Stan, I'll help you find those cows now. Where do you last see them? Oh, that's lovely, Mr. Toad. Give me proud. Very masterful. Oh, yes, super. <laughs> oh, and now perhaps a couple of snips of the dairy. Uh, uh, dairy? It's where we at Beach Farm make our cheese, Beachdale. We call it. It's a new venture, you know. The, 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 this way. Um, uh, those, those cows. Um. Ah, yes. The Beachdale cows, they produce the milk we use for our cheese. They're not going to, you know, ch charge or anything, you know, horns and die. Um. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Now, don't tell me you're frightened of Buttercup and Bluebell. No, 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 no. Just a bit. Nothing to worry about. No. Uh, now, now when you when you get back to the land as I've done, you become quite at home with beasts such as these. Right now, how do I look here? <laughs> Mr. Jones, are you sure they're safe? Let's try our luck in Babblebrook. Stuff. I'm so sorry. I, I I can't think how it happened. Um, Skip, um, Mr. Shutter, no, 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 come back. Daisy, Veronica, what are you doing here? Um, perhaps you'd like to take some shots of the farmhouse now. No, I would not. I'm leaving, Mr. Jones. And don't for a moment imagine that your picture or that of your smelly farm and its smelly animals will ever make it to the pages of High Magazine. Not after what? Oh, but, uh, but Skip, I, I haven't... We... And I, uh... I do... Oh, hello, Stan. Hello, children. Mr. Jones, what are Daisy and Veronica doing here? I, um, well... Uh... That is where... Well, I borrowed them, Stan. We've been looking everywhere for them. For ages. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think you'd mind, Stan. I wouldn't have, Mr Jones, if you'd asked me. And if you had asked me, I don't think you'd have ended up in such a mess. Vanity, Stan. I, I saw the chance to be in High Magazine and, well, I... I wanted to be a star. Well, if you ask me, being famous isn't all it's cracked up to be. There's far more to life than being a star. There is? No, no, he, he, uh, <clears throat> there is. You're, you're, you're right, of course, still. Um, should I um, help you get the cows back into their field? Don't worry. Now you've stopped feeding them, they'll happily follow my own little star. <laughs> I hope this works, little red tractor. If it does, it will take all the back-breaking work out of planting potatoes. Hiya! Hi, Stan. What are you doing? Hello, you two. You're just in time for a demonstration. Are you ready, little red tractor? all over your farmyard. This was just a test. We're going up to Spud Field later, where the potatoes will fall into the furrows we've ploughed. That's really clever. Stan? Yes? These potatoes are kind of funny looking. These are seed potatoes for planting. Can't you eat them? Well, not yet, but it doesn't take them long to grow into eating potatoes. So, can you paint with them? Paint with them? Mum was going to show us how to do potato printing. But she's well out of potatoes. I'm sure I don't know. You can take some and give them a try. Thanks, Stan. Thanks. See ya. See you later. 
Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and get these potatoes planted. Mister! Come on, is that your best shot? <laughs> Morning, Mr. Jones. Getting in a spot of exercise. Good to see. Good to see. Ah, yes. I'm testing out my new tennis machine. With its help. Zah! It will not be long before I am top of the league at the tennis club. I've never gotten to tennis myself. Running's my game. Born to run, which reminds me. Cramp. Must get going. Can't have the muscles cooling down. Danger of cramp. Gotta keep moving. Quite. Must run. Hmm. I guess I really should get on too. Oh, if only there was an easier way to plant potatoes. Ah, oof! That's it. I think I have just had a brilliant idea. That's it, little red tractor. Nice and straight. This is taking no time at all. At this rate, we'll be finished before lunch. Oh, what on earth? A potato? Hello, Mr. Turvey. Oh, hi, Stumpy. Looks like the same thing happened to me as happened to you, struck by a potato. Potato? <laughs> kind of funny looking. Hmm. Oh, just my luck. As soon as we get called out to a breakdown, we get a flat tyre. Don't worry, big fella. We'll have you fixed up in no time. What was that? A potato. A potato? Yeah, a potato. A span of tatty. I know what a potato is, Dad. I'm just surprised someone's throwing them at us. Throwing them? You mean, you mean we're under attack? We are under attack! Take cover! But, Dad, I need to get... Hold up! Hello. What's going on? Potatoes. Eh? Potatoes, Stan. Someone's been throwing potatoes at us. They're seed potatoes. Oh, I thought they were kind of funny looking. They're like the ones I gave to Ryan and Amy. But I can't believe that they would be throwing them at people. No, not my kids. No, but perhaps they know where these have come from. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and ask. See you later. That's See you. you. Hmm. Still not quite right. Hmm. That's got it. Oh, yes. That should do the trick. May as well give it a full test. Ah, that's not right. Hello, Stan. I oh, my painting! I was about to ask if you knew anything about these flying potatoes, but you obviously don't. Where are they coming from? I don't know. But I think we should get inside. It's getting dangerous out here. Come on, little red tractor. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. There. That's it, girl. You got it. <laughs> Still got a little of the old magic. <laughs> Just give me a little more time to get this wheel back on. I can't believe we're getting pelted with potatoes. Someone's got it in for us. <laughs> Still not quite right. <laughs> what the? Some fool is throwing potatoes at me. <laughs> I'm being attacked. <laughs> Hey! Ice! Here, I'd take cover if I were you. Nicola and I are under attack. If it's any consolation, everyone's under attack. It's not just the garage. Potatoes are flying all over the village. Nice dodge, little red tractor. Right, that does it. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Done. Good work, Nicola. I'd oh, better get off to that breakdown. I'll keep guard here. How about that? Good stop, little red tractor. That was close. I wonder what this is all about. Where's Mr. Jones? 
Ah! Mr. Jones? Stan? What are you doing? Hiding, of course. Some fool is throwing potatoes at me. I think that fool is you, Mr. Jones. What? This, um... Uh, this thing? Ah, you mean my projectile potato planter? It takes the back-breaking work out of planting potatoes, you know. Well, it seems that it's been shooting potatoes all over the village. It's caused chaos. Oh. Um... Ouch! Did you see that? That... That will be Walter defending the garage. He's been batting the potatoes back all day. He doesn't know they're coming from you. Oh. So it's, um, it's definitely my fault, then? Yes. Uh, I, uh, I think I may have been a bit silly. Hmm. I was only trying to make potato planting a little easier. Well, we've done ours, so why don't Little Red Tractor and I give you a hand? You... you'll help me? Sure. On two conditions. Anything. You have to load the potatoes into our machine. Absolutely. I said anything, anything at all. You just have to ask. And you have to go round to everyone and tell them that you were responsible for the potatoes today. Oh, do I have to? Yes, or we don't help you. Mm. All right. <laughs> Mr. Jones, more potatoes, please. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why do I have to do all the heavy work? Hurry up, Mr. Jones. Put your back into it. Those potatoes won't plant themselves. <laughs> I'll tell you what, little red tractor. Planting potatoes has never been easier. Oh, my back. 